Good morning on this happy Halloween. <laughs> this is your rather podcast on this October 31st. It is 4.33 in the morning on a Wednesday. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, okay. Hello and welcome to the podcast <laughs> on this Halloween 2018. I'm Chris Allen, just trying to be a little humorous on this Halloween morning. It is going to be a little creepy in that uh, we've got the winds already this morning and then the rain, a lot of rain coming later. Now, some of you, as I mentioned yesterday, could actually squeeze in a little window where it's not going to rain during trick-or-treat times. And I know a lot of cities changed changed the times. But again, as I mentioned yesterday, I'm not going to get on that soapbox today. Those are mere suggestions. There's not an ordinance or a law that says you have to trick-or-treat at certain times. But some people have to be told when to go trick-or-treating, even though this is America and you can go trick-or-treating anytime you want to. So, I would suggest you have a plan B, just in case the rain does come in, as expected. Although, it does appear that for some, maybe along and east of I-65, uh, that you may be able to get in your trick-or-treating uh, this evening before the rain moves in, especially east of Bowling Green. Now, if you live west of Bowling Green, uh, it looks like after 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon, we're going to begin to see some showers moving in. The heavy stuff, though, is going to wait until overnight tonight and during the day tomorrow. Therefore, the flood watch continues for the area through Friday morning, as we're expecting anywhere from 2 to up to 4 inches of rain in some cases. But I think the heavier stuff is going to stay west of our area, so we may end up with a couple of inches uh, here in Bowling Green, lighter amounts of rain out to the east. 73. That was our high temperature yesterday at the Bowling Green Airport at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and it was 7 degrees warmer than the average of 66. We started out, though, at 38 for a low temperature. That's 4 degrees cooler than the average of 42. One year ago, we had a high of 65 and a low of 29 back in 2017. No rainfall past 24 hours, but get ready. We're going to get some rain in here by later this afternoon. So here's the way I've worded the forecast for now. Windy and warm today, increasing clouds, 60% chance of showers coming in after 2 p.m. And a high at 75 South winds 18 with gust up to 35. So it is going to be windy as we get especially into this afternoon and tonight even. 70% chance of showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms likely with some heavy rain overnight. Low of 62. For Thursday, tomorrow, the first day of November, a 100% chance of rain and some of it heavy at times, with a high of 67. It will be cooler as a cold front finally pushes east of us by Thursday night into early Friday. I think uh, behind that cold front we'll have lingering clouds and uh, maybe some light rain or sprinkles as we get into Friday, but it will be much cooler with a high of only 56. But then Saturday... Things improve, mostly sunny, 62. A warm front comes in on Sunday, which, by the way, will be when we fall back one hour, or actually Saturday night before you turn in. You'll want to set your clocks back one hour as daylight saving time comes to an end. Sunday, we'll see increasing clouds, breezy and warmer, with a high of 65, but rain will move in late Sunday. And then here we go again. More uh, pretty good rainfall chances here coming up Monday and Tuesday of next week. 60% chance of showers and breezy on Monday with a high of 68. Tuesday, which is Election Day, 
70% chance of showers, likely breezy, warm, near 70 as you head to the polls <laughs> next Tuesday. And then another cold front comes swinging through here by Wednesday of next week. So just be careful out there. Play it by ear. I mean, you, you guys are the parents. You have a say on whether you're going to send your kids out or not. It's not like you're going to get arrested or whatever if you're not going the hours of trick-or-treating in each town. It's America. Like I said yesterday, just do it whenever you want, with who you want, where you want to go. Those are mere suggestions from each city. Um, you know, since it's going to be windy and rainy, just plan something with a neighbor or with relatives. Get all the kids together, watch some scary movies. The wind's going to be blowing outside. We may even get a little thunder and lightning. Nothing serious. But it's it really does set the mood for Halloween. Make it fun. Popcorn, candy, you know, some apple cider or something like that. Mm. See, that's the way it ought to be. Just have fun with it. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5. On AM Kentucky, 11 AM on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. And, of course, to your Alexa device here shortly. And don't forget to download our new all-weather app. Later today, if you can, join me for my radio show at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m. And I'll have a lot of classic Hello history. Yes, do you see what I did there? Halloween songs, classics, the ones of all time, like Monster Mash and Thriller and yeah, the Purple People Eater and all that. Yeah, I've got all those this afternoon to get you in your Halloween mood. And you can listen also anywhere, online, anytime at BowlingGreenSam.com. <laughs>